We're going to do a uh, video today on uh, three solar panels that we've added. Uh, they're 135 watt panels, 12 volts each. Uh, they're connected to two uh, 400 watt grid tie inverters and uh, we're taking a look at the current light level um, which is uh, 900, roughly 920 watts uh, per meter squared. These are the uh, three uh, 135 watt 12 volt panels that we've added. Uh, my wife and I made a uh, cedar stand for the panels. The uh, angle of the panels is easily adjustable using the uh, metal rack. Uh, used liquid uh, conduit to uh, tie into the house. Uh, there's also a ground wire because it's by the uh, pool. Um, to ground the uh, metal structure and uh, let's go and uh, check out the panel and see if we can turn the uh, meter backwards. This is the uh, electric meter and uh, as you can see it is uh, we are consuming power. Um, well let's go and uh, try turning off some of the circuits and see if we can turn the uh, meter backwards. We've got some beeping sounds in the uh, house because I've turned off uh, some of the circuits. Uh, the pool pump is on right now and uh, we'll turn that off and see if uh, we can turn the meter backwards. Going into uh, the basement. This is the uh, panel for the uh, three solar cells. Um, this is just something I quickly uh, put together. Uh, later this fall we're going to be building a much bigger panel and uh, incorporating uh, these uh, batteries into it along with an inverter, two inverters to uh, generate uh, AC power. Um, this panel Basically we've got a uh, voltmeter and amp meter for uh, the DC uh, power being generated from the panel. It's about what, 22 amps right now at uh, 14 volts. We've got two uh, 400 watt grid tie inverters. We've got a uh, battery switch so we can change from one or the other panel or run both. Both are running right now. Uh, we have a number of breakers. These breakers are for these uh, four 75 watt light bulbs which we can use as a dummy load. If I do this, we're now uh, uh, these four 75 watt light bulbs are being lit from directly from the uh, solar panels. Turn that off, go back to the grid tie and uh, see if we can take a look at the watts here. If I can get a good shot. 150. It takes it a while to climb when you first uh, power up the grid, grid tie inverters. We're up to 223, 24, 26, 28 watts and climbing. So let's uh, turn off uh, the pull pump and See if we can turn that meter backwards. Now, the one thing I did want to mention, I've left the uh, basement lights on. Um, actually, they're <laughs> Our number of basement lights, which I'll just quickly show you before we go look at the meter. Light there, light there, another light out there, another light there, another one there, and another one over by uh, where the uh, panel is.
So as you can see, the uh, meter is very slowly turning uh, backwards. That's with uh, all of those uh, basement lights on. Let's go turn the uh, basement lights off. See if we can turn that backwards a little faster. Here the uh, UPS's for the uh, computer systems beeping because the uh, power has been turned off. And as you can see, the meter is actually turning backwards. Wish we could do that all the time. Thank you for watching the video.